What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here back on Forza Horizon 4 on the full wheel setup for today. And as you can see, fall has fallen upon us. And with fall came the Bone Crusher. I mean, it's kind of fitting with fall and Halloween. With Halloween has passed, but we do have the Bone Crusher car out for today. We're just going to rip this around a little bit, see what adventures we can get into with the fall season now that it is here. I believe we may have some wheel spins to do. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to check that real quick. Start it off with some wheel spins if we had them. And then uh, we're going to take this car for a rip and uh, get my little mixer tools going on there. So it looks like we have seven wheel spins to do. Okay, I will take it. I will take this seven wheel spins. We'll start this episode off with seven wheel spins. Hopefully we get something good. Then we'll take this bone crusher out for a little bit of fun and see what uh, fall adventures have in store for us today. But I feel like we're not starting off good on these wheel spins by any means. Wheel spins are definitely something that um, I'm very sad about, but I will take the Ridgeline Baja trophy truck. I don't have one. I mean, I probably will never use it, but it's better than clothing. What do we got going on for this one? I feel like we'll never use that, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it because I like to uh, try and keep as many cars as I can. There we go. Rare burger hat. We're going to be working at a uh, Burger King or something here very soon with that hat. So, while we are doing this, please give me that. I will take 250 grand. Thank you as I say that. But first of all, I want to thank everybody who came out for the live stream of Torture. If it was a lot of fun, if you guys were on there, it was a lot of fun hanging out, getting to chat with you guys, and finally get a car that I like. Uh, I do have this in Forza 7. It's a nice drift build. I wish it was a Forza edition, but beggars cannot be choosers here today. Our final wheel spin is going to be a red flat cap. So, um,. Well, wheel spin's uh, kind of uh, a bit disappointing, but we're going to get the wheel cam turned on, and we are going to take this bone crusher out. We're going to have to get our energy wheel on first. We are rank 121 now. So this bone crusher was a lot of fun, and oh, he reaches up to the skull. That's pretty sweet. I didn't know if he was going to actually do that. So you can actually see him like reaching up there. That's actually really sweet. So we got the Bone Crusher in the Hot Wheels expansion for Horizon uh, Horizon 3. So now we got it here in Horizon 4. We did get to Twin Mill in the other event last time. This thing grips. Oh, as I say that, it grips a little bit too much, and that's not a forgiving tree. <laughs> so like I said, I wanted to check out what fall adventures we got going on. And I believe it's right here. Little circuit seasonal change. We're gonna rip this twin mill, not the twin mill. We're gonna rip this bone crusher up to there. And then we are gonna see what we could actually win. He looked backwards. Please tell me somebody noticed that. We're gonna uh, see what uh, cars we can win or what we got for the special ability in the fall seasonal event of the road racing hopefully we'll be able to get to race a pretty cool car or we'll get to race this car so if you guys don't have this i'm gonna rip it oh i feel like i'm just hitting everything today i feel like uh been on mobile too long and i uh totally forgot how to play he's just reaching up just you know going up there but i feel like it'd be cooler if it would move but you know beggars can't be choosers it's like he's just putting his hand out the window or the roof so, I'm assuming everybody is going to absolutely get this car because it's only, I believe, 150 or 174 Zathon points, which I feel like everybody has a lot of points. This car has some understeer. And if you don't have the points, make sure you do. It's pretty cool to have these cars. I, like I said, I did get the Swin Mill by completing the uh, other event that you had to beat on uh, high-skilled drivers to get it. And this car... Nope, only six gears. This car seems like it could be pretty quick if it was tuned right and more power added. But I just like the way it looks and uh, the rat rod style and uh, definitely growing up with Hot Wheels. So 
it was a, it's a cool thing to see these cars in game. We got 1.2. I slowed down a little bit too soon. Take the first exit. Could you imagine this thing if we could put drift suspension on it? We're gonna try and rip it. Does not want to stay sideways. It's got to be these really big beefy tires in the rear, or it's got an open diff. One of the two. If we could put drift suspension on this. It's so gonna happen. We are gonna do a drift build on this uh, bone crusher if we can. It would be a lot of fun getting this thing sideways with the open wheels. Just seeing the big wheels lock up when you pull the handbrake like that into the back of a Jetta. Sorry, dude. Yeah, just put my hand up. So, like I said, we're gonna see what cars we could get here in the fall season. If you guys already have them and I'm behind and late to the party, you know, that's uh. Left. That happens Turn from time left. to time. All right. You Let's see what we can get in the fall season. See me whip, wheel spin, and 10 grand. Well, that's not very appeasing for me right now, but that's the off road circuit. I believe this one is the team event that we would have to do. So where is the road circuit one? I know there's another one. There's always three seasonal events. There it is. Oh, of course, it's all the way at the festival. So we're just gonna quickly, uh, quickly fast travel there and uh, see what event is going to go on there. We have a sip of Gatorade right now. Got to keep hydrated. So like I said before, big thank you to everybody who came out to the live stream for the Drift Tandem Battles. That was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun doing it. Definitely going to be doing more of it. And a big thank you to the Torque Drift devs for coming out and uh, hanging out as well. So a lot of people have been asking me about a video setup for my whole setup. And I, um, I'm working on getting a video together to show you guys how I built the stand and the center console and everything on those lines so hopefully that will be out very soon for you guys who want to see how this whole setup actually got put together or what it is made out of and you know the gist of my setup that i use so we're gonna go see what we can do in this seasonal event whoa i mean what's up man ripping all out of the gate in that uh camaro there all right Oh, okay, buddy. I feel like you're doing a seasonal event too. What can we win here on the seasonal event? And it is in the Bone Crusher. Trick or Treat, Funeral March, and Skeleton Suit. Finish first with... Well, we're in the Bone Crusher. Might as well do it. Probably bump him up to Expert. I've been and, looking uh, forward to this Autumn Championship for ages. Have you? I think you'll enjoy this one. Ooh. What am I saying? Of course you There's will. four. So Autumn Championship in the Bone Crusher, or Bone Shaker. Why am I saying Crusher? I've been saying Crusher this whole time, haven't I? Bone Shaker. Ugh, get wrecked. So, hopefully, well, everybody will be in this car, so it's going to be an even playing field. So we are going to put it up to Expert, but it looks like we got the fancy paint. We are going to put it up to Expert to try to get that skeleton. Why not? But it is kind of cool that we get to have all these different uh, races every season. So now uh, we got a fleet of bone shakers. Or until we get tired of it. Watching that skeleton just shake. Uh, why'd they stop so much? Excuse me, guys. Stop hitting me. Like I'm hitting you guys. So we're going to go back to third person so it's easier to see. There we go. So I do like these seasonal events because it puts everybody in pretty much the same cars. And uh, so it's all at the point of you being able to beat the driver tire skills. Which having them on expert is uh, the highest tier you can get for winning something. And expert driver tires all I can do is beat them once in first or finish first in one of the events you don't have to finish all you just gotta 
finish first in at least one race, which I feel like is very doable in a four race season. And I mean, obviously this car handles pretty well. Uh, it's pretty grippy. It doesn't really lose grip that quick. And uh, I feel like I could have taken that at a lot higher speed, but we, we were catching him and we are catching him now. A little quick tap of the brake, trying to be clean. Oh, he knew something I didn't. I saw him brake. I got scared. But we're good. So, this car is a lot of fun. I feel like I am going to be doing a drift build on it. But I figured, oh my, don't lose it. Ooh, I almost lost it. So, it's kind of cool that this event is allowing us to use the car that we started the episode off with. So, this was not planned. But, uh, we took our first win of the first race. So we're gonna hop into the next one and uh, continue this fall racing season. Wait, how? How does he have two? I'm confused. Wait, what? How does he have two extra points than I do? Um, totally confused. Did Please tell me you guys saw that. He had two extra points of me, but I finished first. Well, I'm just going to uh, continue this and ignore that because uh, that's a little confusing on that aspect. But luckily, we have fast travel, so we'll be able to make this travel time quicker. And our next race is going to be right over here. Small circuit race, it looks like. I do like little circuit races. It's nice and uh, quick paced, fast racing. So if you guys are enjoying these holiday and seasonal events, let me know down in the comment section down below. What was your favorite ones thus far? Because uh, I feel like we're almost through. Super excited for the Huna truck to come out here very soon. I feel like it is actually dropping tomorrow. I think it's a third actually. So correct me if I'm wrong. I have to check. So Huna truck. Definitely super excited to get that. Definitely going to be ripping that thing around. Maybe making it rear-wheel drive. Maybe keeping it all-wheel drive. Or doing both. Doing a rear-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive challenge. Definitely going to be seeing a lot of those in the game. Especially probably a lot of those up in the drift zones and speed zones. Because, uh, well, it's just, a, it's just a bad, bad car. And bad by good. I hope you know what I mean. I censored myself on that one. So the Bone Shaker, 50th anniversary, looking sweet in the gold. And uh, our twin mill is that way too, so it's kind of cool. So we are at Broadway, Broadway Village Circuit. Oh, well, I can't speak tonight. I, am, I apologize for my uh, lack there of uh, English language tonight. But you know what? It's been a long week. It's Friday. We've made it through the week. Hope you guys had a very good week, and hopefully you guys have a very good weekend. Hope you got some cool things planned for the weekend. I uh, actually have a pretty uh, pretty chill weekend plan. Nothing really super major, so it's gonna be a pretty uh, chill weekend for me. Ooh. There we go. Trying to find my spot to pass this guy, but apparently I'm not finding it. It's gonna be right there. I'm just bumping these guys all over the place. They do it to me, you know what? So it's a little payback. And you know, we're out to uh, smash some bones and uh, knock skulls with these cars. Oof. It will step out on you though, but it does have some very nice uh, rear grip with those really wide tires. I feel like I tried to shift into seven, even though I know I don't have seven gears. That's the only thing about having a sequential sometimes, is if I'm not paying attention to what gear I'm in, I'll try and shift again, even though I know I can't, but I will try. Oh boy, what happened there? The car got very loose on me for a second. There we go. So, definitely enjoying how this car handles and taking down every pull I can apparently oh so I feel like we are in the right season now and uh 
with the real season change. But hopefully our winter does not come in actually six days. Because uh, that would be very depressing. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these uh, Forza Horizon 4 videos. I know a lot of you guys keep coming back. And a lot of you guys are, keep commenting on the videos. I do appreciate all the comments. Excuse me. He didn't need that fence. I feel like I took that fence down last lap. I could be wrong though. I would love to have the... Uh, wouldn't it have been sweet if I had like this actual rim and I use this rim in today's episode not knowing that would have been sweet but I feel like that rim does not exist to buy I feel like it's a one-off switching up views here all we see right now is that shaking engine and those uh ITVs, ooh, and the glowing rotors. That's pretty sweet. This view is kind of cool to see those glowing rotors with the open wheel. Those rotors glow pretty quick. Yeah, they got red real fast. That's kind of a cool view in this car because you can see the rotors, you can see the open wheels. It's kind of a cool thing. Okay, so now there's no reason. How am I in second? I don't get this. I'm so confused. Please tell me you guys are seeing this. Is Forza broken? Is, is Forza broken? I, I, I feel like Forza's broken. And now I'm slightly confused on why I'm finishing first, but he's still beating me. Huh. I'm very curious. Please let me know if you guys have the same issue. Because, uh... I'm kind of concerned on why I'm in second place in this, but I'm winning the race. Is there another car I'm missing? Because I feel like I'm in first place. So if you guys have the same issue, let me know down in the comment section down below because it's uh, a little confusing to me. But we do have two more races to do, which would probably not get done today because of time restraints. And I don't feel like I will be able to get all these races done today. So, we are probably going to get two more races done in another episode. So, we will finish this off, but I am very curious on why I am not in uh, first. It's definitely uh, very concerning in the fact that I'm uh, not in first, but uh, I'm winning the races. So, if you guys saw that, please let me know I'm not crazy. And if you guys have something that hadn't like that too, let me know down in the comments section because I'd be very curious to see. I'm just enjoying watching those front tires. This is a pretty sweet view to see the suspension working. You can still see the uh, the brakes working too. So, until next time, guys, you know you can find some follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All from the description box below. And as always, I like thank you guys for coming back for watching. And uh, as always, I appreciate all the comments and support. I'm gonna go in this man's in this person's. Uh, whoa, that's a truck in this person's uh, barn area to get this influence sign wherever it is. So, it's probably on top and I probably won't be able to get to it. So until next time guys, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I don't know where this influence sign is. <laughs> and I'm out.